Hastings is our town, you know it well. From the welcome sign to the high school bell. You say you know it well, that's not quite true. Cause we take a hike, Mike, I'll prove it to you. There's lesser known businesses and some you've heard of more. But it doesn't bother me cause I just love to explore. Interviewing owners and lending a hand. I love to assist for as long as they can stand. Where will I go next? I really can't say. Here's a little warning cause it might be your way. No matter where I go, one thing is true. With Take a Hike, Mike, it's entertainment for you. Roses are red, violets are blue. Here is a new episode just for you. I'm Mike Bramer, and today I'm at Hastings Gift Garden and Floral. I'll be stopping to smell the roses and learning all about the flower business with owner Christine Schaefer. Then it's time to get my hands dirty. Alan Gaylor and Miranda C. put me to work unloading a flower shipment, moving pots around the backyard, and even getting a nice cold drink. Then I join up with Chris again as I shower the flowers and earn my green thumb potting plants. One thing's for sure, this episode's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Let's hike inside and get started. Come on. Well, hello, Chris. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. How did the business Hastings Gift Garden and Floral get its start? It was originally the farm market in town. So, okay. Um, France Myers owned it, and mm -hmm. then a gentleman by the name of Kurt Nelson, who was also a teacher at the high school, owned it, and I had worked for him when I was in college and bought it from him uh, 22 years ago. Okay, okay, cool. And what are the different services that the business offers? Obviously flowers. Fresh flowers, fresh mm -hmm. floral. We have gifts, women's clothing. We have a lot of vintage. That's wow. a big new area for us. We have concrete statuary. We have plants. We have um, outdoor decor. Okay. Um, just about anything you can find. Maybe not a kitchen sink, but occasionally we've yeah. had that too. <laughs> How many different kinds of flowers do you have here? Do you know? Roughly? Hundreds. Hundreds. Uh, thousands maybe even. Wow. During the peak of the summer season, we have thousands of different varieties. What does your business offer the gardening enthusiast? Things that add the bling and the pizzazz yeah. to the garden. Yeah. Things that you don't uh, necessarily see at a box store like the the Walmarts, the Home Depots, the Menards. We have just different things that are a little mm -hmm. more unusual. If somebody tells me it's selling well everywhere, I say, you know, I probably don't want it. I want yeah. some stuff that's just a little more unusual yeah. than that. So do you sell those fountains with the naked angels? Uh, those are peepee -pee boys um, okay. or, or little, little cherubs. <laughs> okay. We do not always carry those in stock, but we do carry a lot of different fountains. Okay. Um, not so much those. So say I'd like to apply for the, uh, the angel position? Really? Um, no. Oh, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I was ready to... <laughs> this is a family show, isn't it? That... <laughs> so I think that's all the questions I have for you. Okay. So I think we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, I'm going to help out with some flower potting, and I know you've got some other uh, jobs to keep me busy, too. We've got some pricing and some moving of things and a little bit of concrete shuffling, wow. so you'll be busy. I'll be here all day. Well, stay right there. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to Take a Hike Mike here at Hastings Gift Garden and Floral. And now Chris is gonna give me a little tour of the business, so. Here we go. Yeah, show me what you have to offer here. Well, these are a few of the plants that have come in now. Uh -huh. um, it's still early, so they'll be coming in every day. We get a truck in almost every morning. Very these cool. are some of the perennials over here. Perennials can take the colder weather that we've been having, so they like to be out here. 
Do you ever warn people about putting their fingers in any of these? Uh, that's not motorized, but maybe you guys need to warn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come along with me, Mike. <laughs> here you can see that the annuals have more flowers and they come out. This building right here that you see was the original farm market building oh, in wow. Hastings. So this was the France Myers. But now we've turned it into some of our vintage and ephemera. Can I have one object to take home with me today for free? It's not me, is it? Because uh, <laughs> I'm just noticing I could use a new pair of wheels. Okay, this isn't a tricycle race. You could try it, I guess, Mike. I can try it? You're kind of a small guy. Okay. Do kids ever ride around on this? Uh, we haven't had it long enough, but I'm, I'm sure that this child will. <laughs> Give it a ride. Uh, really, does your mom send you off on these hikes so she can have a little rest? Yeah. <laughs> it was a Mother's Day, exactly. so it's exactly I can the see situation. why. These are um, old oil cans. Yeah. And they've been converted into little birdhouses. Oh, birdhouses, so, okay. So see how the handle's been moved and then the birds yeah. can perch and sit in there. That's the kind of thing we do with our vintage. I was just thinking girls like biker boys. That's not the kind of bike they like, oh, Mike. okay. <laughs> or the boy. <laughs> <laughs> so what about this net here? Well, that might become uh, some, it could be laying on the top of a cupboard. Um, they might take the handle off and repurpose this. It could be a light fixture, might become uh -huh. a shade. They might put a lamp or a bulb down in there. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, it could, yeah, Dunn's uh -huh. hat. Okay, <laughs> there you go. I'm Perfect. not caught. Look what I caught, a business Hello, owner. That's everyone. the only way I can get her to be on the show. <laughs> Name the flowers associated with these images. Here's the first one. You know flowers better than anybody, so think about the flowers. flowers. With slippers, lady slipper. There you go, lady okay. slipper. That's the first one. Next up, we have dragonfly or no snapdragon. Yep. Sorry, snapdragon. Snap. You're good. That's two points. All right. How about this one here? This is tricky now. Daffy pickles. Duck close, pickles. Close. Close. Duck. Oh. You're right. Uh, Daffy. Yep. That's correct. Daffodils? Oh, dill pickles. <laughs> I got it now. So daffodils. Daffodils, there you go. You got three points. High Woo! five. Nice. All right, welcome back to Take a Hike Mike here at Hastings Gift Garden and Floral. And now I'm going to be joining up with Alan Gaylor, and he is going to show me how to do some manual labor around here. So, Alan, how's it going? Good, Mike. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. So, how long have you worked here? Um, I've worked here for the past, this is my second summer. Uh-huh. Yep. So uh, you have some work for me today, huh? Yes. What do you What do you have in mind? We got some pots that came in here, uh -huh. and they came in as a set. Okay. So we're going to set them up. So if you want to start with these. No problem. All right, so just uh, stack this on the shelf here? Yeah, why don't we go over to the next shelf? Oh, okay. All right. There you go. Yep. And then put it up on oh, top. Oh, up on top of that. Okay. Just so we got some more room. And then yeah. that one can go down. Okay. And it looks like this is the ending of the unstackables. Wow, this kind of reminds me of the game Jenga. Have you ever played Jenga yes, before? Yes, I have. So you should be taunting me with the word Jenga as I try to stack these. Well, we got one more try. Okay, here. all right. <laughs> Don't Jenga. taunt me too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't taunt me too much, Alan. Yes. All right. And we're coming over here to the fountain area. Oh wow. We just uh, recently set up our two fountains for the year. We keep these. We try to keep. Uh, Three or four fountains running a year, just okay. so people can kind of get an idea how they work. And yeah. So, is this normal water in here, or this is normal water? Okay. Um, they do take a little bit of care mm -hmm. um, as far as keeping the leaves, the sticks out of it, because there is a pump down in the bottom. Sure. You just don't want the pump getting clogged up. Mm -hmm. So, Alan, have you ever come in late to work one day? You didn't have time to shower at home, so you just brought along a bar of soap and. Cleaned up right in the little phone there? I haven't yet. I, okay. I'm pretty on time, but I'm going to try that. Yeah, there you go. That. Yeah, I won't tell Chris. Or if i got to be somewhere late at night, you know, and yeah. i got to work till 6, date. and i got to be there at 6.30, this is a good place to clean exactly. up before I go. Exactly. I'm about ready to take a drink down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll try it out. That one's probably a little bit better. Oh, yeah, it. that'll be even easier to take a drink. Nice cold water. Mm, that's good. It is. Refreshing. <laughs> mm. You guys make the best water. I'll have well, to bring my you. bottles here sometime and just load up. Thank you. Okay. Usually we have a crow that comes in and sits on there and drinks. Oh, wow. I thought it tasted a bit crowish. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm here with Miranda C. Miranda, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Doing very good. Very Thank good. You. And she's going to show me a little bit about this truck unloading process. There's a big truck coming with flowers. 
and uh, I'm going to help unload it. So, so what do I need to know about unloading the truck? Um, right now, we, what, the main thing is to do it carefully and do it quickly. We want to be organized about it, and mm -hmm. so we're going to look at the pots. We'll see if they have brown bottoms or yep. if they have green bottoms. The green okay. bottom pots are a little smaller, so those mm -hmm. are going to have a, sm a little bit lower price. The brown bottom pots are larger, have more flowers in them, so we'll want to be able to price them quickly. So we'll put all the brown in one area, all the green in another area. So you also mentioned the words quickly, and I think yes. you even maybe said efficiently. Sometimes those yes. words don't always agree with me, so yeah. don't be afraid to crack that whip if, I, yep. if I'm not doing what I'm I'll supposed to be doing. I'll keep you hopping. Okay. Yep. <laughs> all right, viewers, so the truck just arrived. Um, are we ready for this, Miranda? We're ready. Okay, yep. okay. Yep, we'll let him hand the plants to us. Okay. Sometimes if you're picking up something from the bottom and they're up top dropping something down, you don't want to be Excellent. it. So we're going to do green shade here. Okay. So those are green sun, so we'll put those over there. Over here? Okay. Yep, those are sun. Oh, wow. He has to army crawl back there. All yep. right. Green shade. Green shade. All right, where should right we go? On the table. On the over table? There. All right, yep. here we go, viewers. Oh, I didn't know I was going to get dirty today. Ugh. <laughs> I'm going to be pouring sweat by the end of this segment, viewers. <laughs> this is more exhausting than my Tybo workout VHS. Let's do it. Go big or go home. I usually go home. <laughs> Man, all right. The truck is like maybe a quarter of the way unloaded. Got her. For some reason, the plants are getting heavier now. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Viewers, this is going to be a lot of time-lapse video where you're going to see me running around really quickly. <laughs> yeah, difficult. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Mark, how am I doing here on my first Great. day? Yeah? Great. All right. <laughs> He's like, hurry up, kid. <laughs> This is sure growing to be a great episode, Miranda. It is. It's going to be blooming wonderful. <laughs> now that's what I call flower power. I got down, but I don't know if I can get back up. Back in season one, I could maybe do this, but now that I'm on season four, oh. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Is there any poison plants here? A lot. Are all of these poison? No, you just, you don't want to eat them. <laughs> right after she told me you don't want to eat them, the first thing I do is try to lick what I'm carrying. You guys ever get really tired doing this? Because I'm really tired. <laughs> so do you really sell all of these? Yeah, the majority, That's crazy. almost all of them. How often does this truck come? Uh, every couple days. Every couple days, wow. You yeah. guys go through plants like crazy. We do, but right now we're just bringing in the warm season ones. Oh, okay. So warm we're season. seeing a few more of plants, different varieties than we've had for yep. a while. Should have brought my oxygen tank. They never end. They never end. Woo! That was the last one. Oh, was that the last one? Yep, we're wow. all done. So we did it, we unloaded the truck. We did, we got all the plants, we had a lot of flats, a lot of baskets, yeah. so we have plenty to come shop for. But how did I do? Did I You did you? good, you did very good, yep. Yeah. Now we just have to organize them. Yeah, I didn't realize how dirty I would get too. Yeah. This is my nicest dirty. pink shirt. Cool, well thank you so much for yeah. the tips and everything. Oh yeah, anytime, you're welcome to come out anytime. We get a truck every couple days, so. Sounds good. Okay, Mike, now this is one of the most important things we do in the, um, the hot heat of summer, if we ever okay. get it. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a water wand, oh, wow. and it's important that you water it's down, yeah. down low on the plants, okay. up the plant, all the way to the end, come down the middle row, mm -hmm. all the way to the end, not on your shoes, <laughs> down again. So do you want to give it a shot with yeah. the next plant? I have a question. You said it's a, a water wand. Yes. It, uh, does it, it do has, magic? Um, with you it might. But uh, <laughs> yes, it magically doesn't smash all the flowers. So all the way yeah. up the aisle, okay. just right up there. Looking good. And all the way back? Right down the middle. Oh, down the middle. Whoops. Yep, because there's three rows in there, so you want to hit every single flat. Yeah. Do you water these every day? We have to water a couple times a day sometimes oh, really? when it's hot enough. Well, if you ever need a new water boy. You're the guy? I'm the guy. All righty. I feel like I should be riding this like a pony. Well, me, me. see, this is why we're very selective on who we allow to water. <laughs> What is this five-leafed uh It's a herb? labium. Okay. Thought it might be something else. 
No, it's uh, no, it's legal. <laughs> Have you ever had people come in and ask if you had? Uh... Uh, they ask for lots of silly things. Yeah, they ask for a certain plant and some Cheetos too. <laughs> we just ignore those kind of people. <laughs> Cool. How does that look, Chris? All right, that looks good. I think we're done here. All right. How do I shut this up? Little nozzle, oh, nozzle okay. right down there. Just spin the. Spin there it. There you go. Nice. There we go. Now you just watered the customer in the greenhouse. Yeah. <gasps> Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> in what 80s rock song does the singer compare his girlfriend to a flower because he is upset she cheated on him? Boy, I think you got me stumped on that one. Do you know your 80s rock songs? Well, you'd think I would. I was a girl in college in the uh -huh. 80s. I have hints for you. Okay, I'll take a hint. The flower he compares her to is a rose. The band name is Poison. Oh, I didn't like Poison. Yeah, they didn't have a lot of hits, but this was their biggest hit. The big hit. It's something about thorny. Very close. Prickly rose, thorny rose, I don't know. Every... Rose oh, has its thorns. There you go. Okay. Every rose has its thorns. thorns. Now you can get some bonus points if you can sing any of the song. <laughs> can you sing some of that song? No, I can't sing that song. What if I help you out? Okay. All right, I have the lyrics right here. Ready? Every rose has its thorns, just like every night has its dawn. Just, Just like every cowboy <laughs> sings, sings a, a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorns. Nice. That was awesome. She got 10 <laughs> points there. She nailed yeah. it. Do you want to help me with this? Yeah, You're yeah. You're going to dig in and get your Let's hands do it. dirty? Yes. I like it. All right. The dirtier, the better. OK. So we're each going to do one, okay? Oh, we're going to race. And what we're going to, no, we're not racing. <laughs> this is the plastic pot. It's called the liner. It's okay. Sit inside there, okay? So sure. the idea is to keep the soil inside the pot. Okay. Okay. I won't make any promises, Chris. Okay. <laughs> so it's like you got the soil back there. We've got the potting soil, which we sell the same, the same stuff we use. So is that enough for both of us? It's plenty for both of okay. us. Okay. Unless I accidentally knock it over and half of it dumps on the then floor. Then we're going to, then we're going to have you down there cleaning it up. Okay. So do you want to dump it or do you want me to dump? Oh, I can dump it. All right. So hit the pot. I'm giving you a break today, Chris. Thanks. How full do you want me to make her? You want to go about three-fourths full. OK. You must be pretty strong working here, building all that muscle. You'd, you'd need to be. <laughs> Just to get through today, I'm going to need to be strong. <laughs> we can put our blue pots off to the side. OK. Or down underneath, whatever you want Sounds to do. Good. So level your soil off. OK. Pack it down a little. Do I get rubber gloves for this? No. Oh. Okay, so these are kind of some basic plants that go into a cemetery pot. Okay. You got a green, and that's going to go about two thirds of the back. This is called a spike. 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 Okay. Yeah, as in rough and tough, and the guy that would ride the motorcycle. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can call me Spike. Okay, come on, <laughs> Spike. Okay. Right, so so take pull it mine out of the pot. Can I pull by the green? It would be better not to. Not to. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever keep these little? Uh, we do, and some not the like tags. baseball cards. No, you no. do you want to take those home as a yeah, souvenir? Yeah, I can put them in my scrapbook. All right, <laughs> you can have that. Sounds good. So you're gonna put that about two thirds of the way back. Okay. And you want to tease the the root system underneath just a little bit. Tease it. Yeah. So you just want to pull it apart just a little. The next thing you're gonna do is take your two geraniums. Geraniums. Okay. okay. Oh, are mm -hmm. these mine or? Those okay. are yours. Okay. We'll share. Sounds good. Okay. You want me to take them out? Tip it upside down. Tip her upside down. And pop it out. Go. Yeah. Okay, and you can see that root system, you just want to loosen those up a little bit. That that's, helps it to grow in a hey little. Hey Chris, that's what I call the square root. That's a math joke. For the statisticians <laughs> that we know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so put one on each side. Okay. So they're going to be about like at um, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. I usually use a digital watch, so I'm struggling right now. So now you put a lot of different flowers in there's there. There's a lot of flowers that go in. Good this for you. green, okay. this is called the Vinca vine. That's gonna go right in the front. How does it get the name Vinca vine? I don't What's know. The story? I think whoever bred that one would be able to tell you. You okay. might need a little more. How do you breed a flower? It's a little different than on the farm. It's swallowing me up. <laughs> so Vinca vine, is that Vinca gonna vine. Do you want that at six o'clock? Um maybe yeah, you can do that at All one right, at I'll be back in a couple hours. Or you can do it at you could do it at we could do two of them in there. Okay. Really be yeah. Really daring. Let's do it. So do it right next to the like at four o'clock and at okay. eight o'clock. I'll just mash it. All right. Vinca vine is in. Okay. So then you're gonna put a salvia in. Salvia. And okay. you're gonna put that one right pretty much at twelve o'clock. Do you okay. not have one? I of do those? not have a salvia. Oh, I stole oh, it. From there you. we go. That's there okay. There you go. I forgive you. Okay. This time. Thanks. 
I've forgiven you for a lot of bad jokes today. Yeah. <laughs> so we're even now. Yeah. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> I told I'm a lot thinking, of bad jokes before. I'm still thinking you're ahead on this Not game. all of them made the episode. <laughs> mm. I think marigolds smell fresh. This is good uh, deodorizer. Just tease the roots and put it in the ground before it mm. dies. You're not good at anything. <laughs> I'm talking to the roots. I'm teasing it again. Oh. How about a petunia? Do you like that one? Sure, yeah, that'll work. Okay. So tease the bottoms of the roots again. Okay. It's always important to pull those apart a little bit. Oh, you pulled these apart a little Just bit. Just a little bit on the bottom. Okay. Then, it, then they want to start to yep. grow into the big pot. I don't know if I remember to tease all of mine as much as I should have. And that's okay. I was verbally teasing. <laughs> yeah, that's a different kind. Yeah. Hey, Chris, do you know what smells the most at a flower shop? I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> what, what, Mike? What smells the most at a flower shop? Your nose. Oh, our, 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 our. We pot right out here with our customers oh, okay. so that they can get lessons while we're doing it too. Oh, really? Do you need some more soil? I think I do need a little bit more. All right. And so, look how beautiful that looks. That is great. How's yours? Is um, it beautiful? I think it looks okay. What do you think? You're I think the it'll expert be good. Here. It'll just grow into itself. Yeah. All right. So I think we're good, huh? Yeah. You look good. Looks really good. Nice. Yep, we're both kind of doing that. Up. Double high five. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so Chris, does Hastings Gift Garden and Floral have a website? We're really more active on Facebook. Oh, okay. But you can uh, friend us on Facebook and post your pictures of things that you've done with things you've brought, bought from here, or you can visit us on there and put your comments down. We'd love to hear from you. Sounds good. I also have this gift for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Hastings Gift Garden and Floral was featured on Take a Hike Mike, signed Mike Bramer. You're welcome to put that on display if you'd like. Uh, is it going to be worth any money? Um, we'll find out. Put it up on eBay and see if it gets any hits. You could. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to go uh, do some more odd jobs around your shop before I head out. Is that okay? That'd be terrific. Cool. I appreciate that. Cool. We're busy this time of year. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Just doing some dust in here. Dusting off the old uh, lawn gnomes. Ornaments here at Hastings Gift Garden and Floral. Looking good. Angela. Oh, no. Mike! Oh, Mike, oh, what did oh. you do now? Oh, I, uh, I seem to have dusted a little bit too hard and Mike, its, its head fell off. And I don't know if I can take much more oh. of this. I think I'm going to have to have you take a hike, Mike. Don't you just have some glue I could paste take, this? Take a no? hike, Mike. Okay, let's trade. Maybe it's you time. take the head. Thank you. I'll take this. All right, well, okay. thanks a lot, Chris, for the opportunity. Yeah, it's been super. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> Where will I go next? I really can't say. Here's a little warning, cause it might be your way. No matter where I go, one thing is true. With Take a Hike, Mike, it's entertainment for you. Hastings is our town, you know it well. From the welcome sign to the high school bell. <laughs> Can I have your tots? Can you just bring me my chapstick? My lips are real dry. Oh. Very selective on who we allow to water. <laughs> that's so, that's so <laughs> bad. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah.